tossed to 127, came back in the second string, was just as good at 127. He went in. Doug Blackler, who's with us today, had little heat on him, especially in the late going, that coming from Dave Curry and Claude Bertin. He got up in the 10th frame with Bertin and Curry yet to ball, and uh, Doug decided, hey, I think I'm going to decide this right here, and he did just that. There you see it. 10th frame, Doug Blackler gets the big strike. He's going to count eight on it, and he, too, moved on to this, the final, the Mark 10 Men's Candlepin Championship. So let's go through them again in order. This is the order in which they will bowl today. Graham Lassen, the man who threw 307 in two strings in the semifinal. He is from Dartmouth, of course. From Lunenburg, Ron Nelson with a 119 average. From Bridgewater, Nova Scotia, Bernie Conrad, who bowls a 120 average. And with a 123 average from Halifax, Doug Blackler. Our four finalists, all of them will be winners today. We'll decide who goes to the number one of this program, and we'll get right to it after these messages. The final of the Mark 10 Candle Pin Championship. Graham Lassen, Ron Nelson, Bernie Conrad, and Doug Blackler are finalists. We begin with... Graham Lassen, look at that series average, 130.6. Absolutely, this guy has really bowled well in the series today. Great bowler under pressure, little tough split here to start. He'd love to convert this one, but it will not be easy. He's got the two, the four, and on the right-hand side, that's the six. The shot, off to the left-hand side a little bit. Graham Lassen, the first guy out of the chute. You saw it, 130.6, his average to date. 122, his league average. Picks that up, gets a single pin, makes it good. And Graham Lassen has kicked off this the final in the Mark 10 Men's Candle Pin Championship. This guy has really given us some excitement over the weeks. And he'd like to do some more today. Tough split there. The left-hand side, call it the 2, 4, and the 7. On the other side, the 6 and the 10, of course. He wants to lay it in here somewhere and kick something over, be it the ball or the pin. Graham Lassen from Dartmouth, Nova Scotia. Good guy by Graham. And he bowls right on these lanes, so he's, in the, he's rather in his home ballpark. Everybody at HMC Park Yards cheering on Graham Lassen as he picks up a good-looking 10 after a tough split. And now, Lunenburg, Nova Scotia. Boy, I tell you, there's nobody on the streets of Lunenburg today. They're all watching this guy. Good shot. Wood oh, coming back, yes. he's got big, himself big break. the nine pin drop, and it shook that ten up just a little bit. That's a real good ba break for him. Wood rolling back shouldn't be a problem at all, and it is not. Ron Nelson starts it off with a spare. And I tell you, they play some pretty good tennis down in Lunenburg, and they play a lot of curling, a lot of good curling coming out of that area, and many things, but it's all bowling today. Ron Nelson, great late action there. He's got a pretty good look looking piece of wood. This is not a bad shot either for him. Plenty of wood to play with there. Yeah, he does so. Piece coming across the front now. Let's see what happens with that. Now he wants that wood over to the right hand side. It's not going to go there. Here's the shot. Oh, oh top. You see earlier, before that wood rolled across, he had a nice piece of wood that laid right in there. And everything going that way. Anything rather going that way. He would have caught the wood and taken the pin. Oh, nice looking shot there off the wood on the pin. A good start for Ron Nelson. He has been very, very cool and consistent in this series. Comes up with the 26. Speaking of cool and consistent, here's Bernie Conrad. <laughs> and we were commenting, of course, in that last semifinal. Bernie just kind of sneaks in there. Doesn't make a lot of noise, not a lot of commotion. <clears throat> not a bravado kind of bowler, but he sure does get the job done. He's been bowling at a 125.8 clip. A little above his average of 120. Picks off a pin there. And, uh, boy, in the neighboring community of Lunenburg, we talked about a moment ago, is Bridgewater. And pretty quiet down around there this, this hour also, as they're all watching their representative, Bernie Conrad. Bernie, going to work here. Got an 8-pin drop with Wood covering that 5. She's good get, act as a... Got to get up around here and try to get the ball to come over. Take Hopefully it won't jump side. behind that 10. Yeah. Here's the shot. Oh, oh got the Wood. Excellent shot. Sorry. He 
he played it real well. That's he why we're only commentators. That's right. He got it. I got to tell you that uh, I didn't see that one. Sweep the switch. Dougie Sweet. Blackler with a series average of 125.8, better than his 123 league average. Well, he's got the seven way over the left hand side, the two and the six. The best he can hope for here is splitting these two and tossing the three over. He was off the three. Well, this is it. But all four of these bowlers will pick up prize money no matter what happens. But they're all gunning for that big $1,000 bill and a chance to go to Frankfurt or Munich, Germany. Oh, Dougie wanted that pin, that being the four. Now he's left himself a rather tough split. He's got the 3 6 10. The four right here. Again, we'll try to lay something in here and chip that pin over. Here's the shot. Oh, just off to the right. Well, there's perhaps just a little bit. It's a big moment. They've all fought hard to get here, and they are now here in the final. We've seen three of our finalists. And now the fourth, just completing Doug Blackler. We go back to the top of the order. And Graham Lassen. Once again, Graham's son, David, in the crowd. I told you in previous weeks, he's a real good one also, following in the footsteps of his father. Piece of wood right here. He gets down around here, and maybe it'll carry the ball off, bring the wood across, and take the pin. He is going to get, be, rather, to get the ball across to the right-hand side and get the 10. I believe that's what Graham is thinking about right now. Lays it down. Went the other way all together. Mm, almost. Yeah, I think that, that was his problem. He looked at that and said, if I get it down there, the ball's liable to go through there. The wood may go over, but I'm going to miss the 10. <laughs> Left the pin standing there. He would have liked to have had, though, with the guide that he had now. Goes to 28. Graham Lassen. Boy, he's had some good ones. 118, 109, 126, 124, 152, and 155 the last one. 07. And I'm thinking maybe he would have liked to have saved some of those pins for this match today. It's going to be tough. He has a mental therapy. Lays it in there. Let's see what happens. Yep. Yeah. Sound the 4, 5, and the 7. He'd like to have him. Eight. 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 Lassen, three nines and a ten for so three under, and Ron Nelson is up into the first. Got some little correction. We thought Ron had a ten box in that second frame. It turns out the ball, yeah, the ball was off the kickback when it took out that ten. So of course it was out, and uh, that means he only takes nine for that second frame. But he's working on. I think maybe another nine box here. That was a tough split. And yeah, there's not much he could do with it. You know, most people will tell you that. Um, if in any tournament you can bowl your average, uh, you'll do all right. That's really tough for Ron there coming with a five, five bucks. bucks. And uh, Ron Nelson in this particular competition has bowled .2 below his average. He's at 118.8, he bowls at 119 clip. That's the way to drop him. Wood coming back, but it won't touch that 10. Instead, it just might, uh, looks like it's gonna go off the plate. Clear shot at the 10. Two mark. Ron Nelson. And that brings up Bernie Conrad, who has that 125.8 series average. Truly impressive. A little bit of a bounce there, but he got six to fall. Yeah, he's he's sure got the one up in front. Then the two, the five, and behind. Well, let's see what Bernie can do. If he can come back, that's going to bother him at all. And I just got to believe it is. Sometimes when something happens up there, uh, it can stay with you for a little bit while. Little while. Now, Bernie was shaking his head on that one. Uh, thinking about it. Takes the one and two and leaves the eight. Brings me back, uh, oh, uh, many, many months ago to our final in uh, our uh, mixed series. And, uh, boy, we had uh, Joan Boyle, I believe, on our oh, opening yes. to open the match. And she fell on the approach. And Joan is home right now, kind of giggling about that, but at the moment it wasn't a funny situation. Uh, but I'll tell you what, she got up off the approach, 
and went to work, and she and her partner, Jerry Hart, went on to win. 1-7-10 split. Good coverage, though, but he had to be on the front. Now, Bernie is just off his object pin right now. Question is, would he go to the right-hand side and play the coverage? Yes, he does. Gets the pin, counts nine. Now, this type of a competition, every pin is so important. All along, it's been good enough to finish second. And, of course, second isn't shabby here. But uh, all four bowlers want to finish in that number one spot and put their name in that Mark 10 trophy alongside of Len Morrow from Harvey Station, who is our defending champion, but was knocked out in this competition. Doug here has to go to work. Got the pin in behind those three you see, uh, see standing. Has to settle for eight. So Doug Blackler goes to the left side, bowling five under. He's dropped five pins after three. He's 25. And he'd like to get his first mark of the day here. That's not an easy one. He's got the six, ten on the right side, seven on the left, wood. One piece well out in front. The other piece kind of sitting on that six pin. Well, he's got double wood, and that uh, might give him a little better action. Trying to bring something over, and uh, he had the right idea. That was tough. So Doug here will shoot for 10. And there will be four frames into this, the final in the Mark 10 Men's Candlepin Championship. Four excellent bowlers. We give them the big, uh, we give them the big build-up sometime. And uh, we talk about the great strings at 307 that Graham Lassen had. And Bernie Conrad has been bowling so well. And you can't count out Doug Blackley because he's always there when he needs to be. And, of course, Ron Nelson is Mr. Steady Yeti. These guys have been bowling so well. And here they are. And let's present them. And what happens? Well, hey, a little well, mediocre to start. <laughs> they looked uh, they looked pretty good in uh, warming up, but here are the scores here. Graham Lassen, 37. Ron Nelson, he's open on the mark. He's at 40. Bernie Conrad, 42. And Dougie Blackler at 35. It's, uh, anybody can win at this point, of course. It's so yeah. early on. We've got 14 frames to go. 16 frames to go. I stand 16. corrected. And it's a seven-pin difference between top and bottom. Yeah, of course, we do have, as I say, Ron open. It is important to get off to a good start in any match, but in particular the final. And Ron Nelson, maybe we're selling him a little short. He's not doing too bad. He's open, uh, 40 even and open. But uh, you do look for the, the big scores because we've seen them over and over again. But the good thing is uh, they're all, I think, just a little tight. We talked about the psychological part of this game, and it is there. There's no denying it. You've got to be able to throw the ball down, hit the pin you're looking at, and so on. But really... There's a major game played in the heads of the bowlers in a competition like this going into it. And in fact, the crowd itself, a little tense going into this one. Mm -hmm. Now, you and I, of course, are loose, but uh, the crowd a little tense, the bowlers a little tense. And I think we're seeing it on the lanes, but it's going to keep rolling along. It's gonna, they're going to open up a little bit. We're going to see... Uh, let's <laughs> talk about the scores. Individual scores, let's run them down for you after four frames. There they are. I'll do my Van of White oh, bit there. I nearly hit our statistician <laughs> in the head. But that's I okay. Graham Lassen at 37, hasn't a mark on the board yet, and he had so many, 13, in fact, in the semifinal number two. Let's go to Ron Nelson now. He's got uh, two marks, open on one, so 40 and open for Ron Nelson. Bernie Conrad, a mark in the second box, got uh, what, uh, six on it, and he is at 42 now. He'd like to mark again. And Dougie Blackler, still waiting for his first mark. He's dropped five pins. He's at five under. So let's get right back to the bowling. Oh, wait, wait, wait. The cup. The cup. I want to mention the cup before we go. We've talked a lot about the prizes, uh, trips, cash in pocket, but this is really what they're, uh, yeah. they're after because that uh, lasts a long time. There's one name uh, on that, too. And one that's name Len on Morrow. Len There's Morrow. Be another one after today. Okay. We got the cup out of the way. Let's go bowl. <laughs> <laughs> See that wave. <laughs> well, we talked about the bowlers perhaps being a little tense and the crowd, uh, even the crowd being a little tense. Well, you can forget about that. They loosened up real good during that commercial break. <laughs> Graham Lassen up now. 37, as we showed you just a moment ago. Ooh. Good hit. Good action. And uh, he's got a good-looking shot right there. All Graham has to do is lay the ball in there. That'll carry through. It'll touch on this wood and drive that wood back, and it'll take the seven. Let's see what happens. I'll call this right about there. Here's the shot. One more time. Bang, bang. Bang, bang. 
and Gray Mlaston has a spare. The ball went down there like a five-ton truck hitting those new pins. <laughs> well, it went down there at approximately 58 kilometers per hour. That's the pace that Gray Mlaston normally bowls at. We have the speed gun out today. It's again good. Eight pin drop, good count of eight. Wood turning, don't think it's going to be a factor. Well, it may actually end up covering the eight. Well, maybe it won't. Bottom line is he's got the five and the eight, and they're close together. 58 clicks, as we mentioned, for Graham Lass, and we'll give you some other speeds, just for your own interest. All he got on the object pin had to be in the five out in front, but he was a little too flush. 58 clicks for Graham Lassen, 51 for Ron Nelson, 51 also for Bernie Conrad. And Doug Blackwood, the hardest chucker here today at 61 clicks. That's what he's averaging. And here is Ron Nelson, who's open on the mark. Yeah. This guy's been steady all the way through. Just cut that ball in from right to left, just got by the front pin. Takes five on it. Should not have too much of a problem sparing this up. The four horsemen, the eight, the There's behind. The killer. Piece of wood oh. there, which the dead wood took care of, but he wasn't on the front pin, and that cost him yeah, two. Yeah, this is the one right here. He had to be on. And uh, just put out to the right. Oh, oh nice. good shot. Take the ten box out of there. That was excellent. The one and the ten. The guy's going to be tough. As far apart as you can get, and he got him. Nice work by Ron Nelson. Yeah. We've got co-leaders now, Graham and Ron. Ron off to the left here, but gets good action off the side. You get the one, the five, and the two, I do believe. Or three. Or three, that's the three. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Boy, I'll tell you, after these weeks and weeks. <laughs> they all start to look the same, don't they? White with red stripes. Yeah. Why aren't they put numbers on those pins? <laughs> So Ron Nelson bowls a time box for number six. He's got 14 to go. He's at 64. That's four over and makes way for Bernie Conrad, who's two above par now. Well, Ron has bowled six pretty good strings in this competition to get here. 107, 113, 128, 125, 115, and 125 for a 118.8 average. That is what has gotten him here. Bernie right now. After a while, all the bowlers start to look this. <laughs> <laughs> Bernie, well, he's had a 110, 112, 117, 110, 127, and a 127. Yeah. That's what got him here. That's exactly right. He's at 49, one under after that seven box. So he's going to bear down, see what he can get out of this six frame on the left-hand side. One of these guys get hot. They could be on their way to Germany. Oh, good shot. Finish. Right in that one three pocket. Left the five standing. Well, Wood coming back. Uh, Don't know if this, well, this might figure in. Yeah, this could be a problem. You're right. Those two pieces of wood are right up at the front. Oh, they're starting to edge well, back slowly now, back and they now. may move out of the picture. The one on the left obviously isn't going to touch, but the one He's on the gonna, right, he should be all right. Well, this might wrap. Bernie's going. It's going to sit there. Yeah. He's blowing on those pins. That doesn't look too bad from here. He gets right in around there. He should have it. Here's the shot. Yeah. Right on. Right. I'll tell you what, it's hard to, we're going to have to get the applause meter to figure who's the most popular bowler here. They're all crowd pleasers, and the crowd appreciate the fact that they worked hard to get here. Bernie right now is so to first place, but just six pins, but he's open, so if he gets six here, at least when he gets up again. He threw the strike ball there in the 1-3 pocket, and he's got wood in front. Should be an easy convert for him. Like Blackler really would like to mark here. Now, he has to be careful with this one right here. That's the seven. Here's the shot. There you got that. Right. Piece of wood in behind caused the other wood to kick off it. Let's watch one more time. See that piece of wood in behind? Held things up just long enough. <laughs> so Bernie Conrad is open when we come back. Doug Blackler open right now on a mark. And Doug is 10 points off the lead. Strikes here, he ties the match. Sixth frame of the first string. And he gets six, and he has four pins now at a top spot. But he'll have a tough time sparing this up. It's a three, five, six, seven. You got it. But will he? That's the question. To be answered in seconds. Stay tuned. Here it goes. As the pins fall. They say yep. good try, so he might just go to the left side there and see if he can brush that piece of deadwood across the plate. 
Well, he might, but I think, uh, yeah, he tried the right-hand side. That wood was not all that good. So Doug Black will finish it off there with a nine. The battle continues. And the bowling will Six continue. frames down, 14 to go. We'll come back with more of the Mark 10 Candlepin Championship final after these messages. At this point, you can't call it. Well, this guy's leading with 65, but the guy in last place is only six pins behind him, and he's open. And he's the only guy open, so uh, the last may be first, and this one before too long. <laughs> oh, Graham Wood's going to come over and sit on the though. two. He's got the one and the two. Shouldn't be too difficult for him he to spare He has up. to be on this one right here. Right or left of the center. He is. It's a mark. Crowd going. He is real cool up there. He threw that 307 in the last series he was on. And uh, with the 152, and he was about 140 something in the second string, and he looked just like he looks now. He does not let up until it's over. Good. Oh, yeah, good one shot. In the back row, it will not get it. Good news, bad news for yeah. him. Seven and nine. Frame last. Probably now, Bruce, I would think, play the wood on the right side and hope that he can knock well, something over onto that seven. See, there's no angle on this wood. It's like that and like that. that. Good news is he got eight on the mark. If he gets near the end of this wood, he might pinch it over and then back, but that's pretty tough. Let's see what happens. Here's the shot. Get it! Oh, that was a great shot. He got way down in the corner, twisted it away, and that pin flew over. What a nice gutsy spirit. play. I tell you, I just thought that had no chance to go that way from where we sat. But he saw it and took advantage of it. Now, look at this. Oh, strike for Ron Nelson! All of a sudden, Graham Lassen gets up in seven, he spares, spares in eight. Ron Nelson up in seven, he spares. Bernie Conrad and Doug Black were sitting back saying, wow, we got to get going too. It's a no. strike for Ron Nelson. Looking for the double. That's good, no, two no, plus. Punch that time, leaves the spread, equal split. Last time he was on that one three pocket, of course. This time he was square in the head pin and chopped through. Well, he so he's got another ball here on the strike, of course. He'll want to take at least three of these. Oh, oh only takes five See, you, for the bonus. You can't help it when you're still in the strike. This this area looks so large here. Now he's going to come over here. But you want to stay away from it. He didn't get over. Instead, on the strike. Ron Nelson gets a good round of applause, though. Comes up with the eight there. And Bernie Conrad steps up now. This guy, usually when they uh, start the mark, this guy jumps right into the fray. He's on one right now. And Bernie right now, 14 pins out of first place, but open here. He gets five. Will he get more? Yes. Count six. So right now he's eight pins out of first place. He's going to get some coverage back there on the eight and the seven. And this, all of a sudden, is not too bad. You can lay it right in there or the ball right here. Here's the shot. Oh, boy. Oh. That's tough. Look, he's got a shot by Bernie Conrad. Another mark. Two in a row. <laughs> You've got to have a little bit of luck. The you one, three, the five. seven, and the eight in behind there, and look what happens. That piece of wood was the story in that shot. <laughs> look, good. one and then the other. <laughs> it took care of both pins for yeah. him. Yeah, how come the guys that uh, are good are also lucky? Eh? Right in that one, three pocket. You definitely have to be good to be lucky, and this guy is good. He's tied right now. Graham Lassen for the lead, and he's looking to mark her again. Lays it down. Oh! Got too far to the left-hand side. That's a tough one. Bernie, or, yeah, Bernie would like to have that one back. I, it wasn't that tough a shot. In fact, gets a single pin, so he remains tied for the lead with Graham Lassen. And now stepping up is Doug Blackler. Blackler right now 13 pins for the first place. So you see it, it's the first string of two. Doug, like this, think mark. Oh! oh! Right for Doug Blackler. Boy, I tell you, it's exciting here in the seventh and eighth. This will be the one they'll remember. They're all going in a hurry. Graham Lassen spares a seven and eight. Ron Nelson had a spare in the seventh, or at least a strike. Bernie Conrad a spare in the seventh. Doug Blackler now a strike in the seventh. And let's see what he can get on it. So he's 13 pins on the first place. Subtract whatever he gets in this first ball from that 13. And that's what he'll trail the first place Graham Lassen by. 
and he is taking some time. He says, I want to get my favorite ball. Watch it come up, the ball return, and gets his hand on it. It's the same ball he threw a moment ago, rather, to get the strike. Lays it down. He's right little, in that pocket, late little, action yeah. coming. He's got the two, the five, and the seven. With Wood that's settling on the five now. This is not so bad. Little distance right here. But if he lays it right in there, or on the other side, he'll make it. Oh! Well, yes, yes, he got it! Yes, no, he yes. got it! <laughs> Great shot by Doug Blackler. Boy, we are seeing some really impressive bowling here. Boy, and that tightens it up. Three Whew. pins now. Doug Blackler out of first place. They're tied. And that being uh, uh, Graham Lassen and uh, Bernie Conrad. A lot of exciting things happen, Paul. And uh, they've finished eight frames now. And... Uh, <laughs> You know what? They have brought, we talked about this crowd being a little tense and nervous at our last break, but I'll tell you what, they got the work, they were playing the wave, you mentioned it, they're loose now, and I think that may have affected the bowlers, because they're, they're up there now, they're really freewheeling, and not only that, sometimes when you get some of those unusual shots, and they start to fall, it brings the crowd to life, and it does bring the bowlers to life too, and they're responding very, very nicely, but we've got a great final We're here. seeing some really tough splits too being oh, converted yes. for the, uh, for the uh, spares. And look at this, Graham Lassen, 93, and open. Ron Nelson, 87, Bernie Conrad, 93, and Dougie Blackler at 90, and open. You just can't say who's going to win this one. Six pins from top to bottom. You can throw a blanket over these guys. It's that close. And, uh, Rudy, they are starting to loosen up now, and we may see more of what we've seen in the last fruit, a few frames rather to come. There you go, that seventh frame, two <laughs> strikes and two spares. Hey, it's, it's heating up, and we're going to come back with the final two of the first string right after these messages. I can stop a child from dying. You can too! It's a 30 hour famine and you're all invited. To cut three meals, be sure you don't fight it. Call for the book and collect donations. If we all pitch in, we can make a sensation. Well, this is our leader. Co-leader, says their yep. statistician, Timmy McDonald, because he is tied. Oh, oh, Bernie, oh, the frame is open. Officially. Good count of nine. Once that wood over there, does not want that wood to hang around. Could be a problem for him. If he stays there, he's in good shape. And it does, and he is. So he has a real clear shot at that single pin standing to get his third mark in a row. And Graham is taking a lot of time, and rightfully so. Boom. Good, good. Good round of applause for Graham Lassen. Boy, they started off a little slow, but uh, after about the fourth frame, the fireworks really started. Yeah, Graham Lassen, too, can sure string them together. Yeah. Remember that string in the first first string back in the last semifinal? He uh, put six together in a row, and then he had seven in the uh, second string, not consecutively. Seven marks for 13. He can mark it well, it seems, so this is a real yeah. tough one. Looks like the old picket fence. Well, if he gets down low on the wood, he got, still has to get the ball over and get the seven, but what he has to do is bring that wood across. He took out and, the uh, one, two, be three, tough. and four here. Five through ten standing. The angle of that wood just, well, he may get it off the other. Well, let's have a look. You get up high around the nose. You got the five, the eight, and the nine out. He's got yeah. the six, ten, and on the left side, that's seven in the corner. Well, he's at 116 right now, plus the seven he is down here. One more ball. He gets one more to take eight. Finish for the next one. 124 to open. Graham Lassen. Now, the pride of Lunenburg, Nova Scotia, Ron Nelson. Ron, not open there. He is the trailer, in fact, but not by a great deal. We'd really like to pick up a mark here. Got good coverage in behind. Oh. Good try. Piece of wood disappeared. Thought it might come back, but it didn't. And the question is now, which way will he go? He goes on the wood, on the pin, gets a nine. To Ron Nelson with the nine. He goes to 96. He is 18 pins off the lead, setting set by Graham Lassen. So the mark by Lassen serving him well. He picked up nine on the eighth and then four more in the nine. Oh, he needs that, wants it, will not get it. Uh, the good news is there is a piece of wood between the six and that ten there. If he lays the ball in there, or if he gets the ball here, of course, and kicks it over. He's got to get something going to the right. Oh, and he had the ball kick off the pin and right about there. Turned away at the last minute. <laughs> Two pins. Both gets 
so Ron Nelson sits down after fashioning a 106 in the opening string, so he stays in the hunt. 18 pins now off the pace set by Graham Lass. Bernie Conrad up right now. And we talked about the applause meter and so on in jest uh, a little while back. Wondering who might, the, might be rather the most popular bowler at the moment. Well, they hooked the microphone up over the crowd. Took a look at the VU meter that uh, registers the intensity of noise. And did some testing for us in the last 10 minutes or so. And you're looking at the guy that scored the highest, Bernie Conrad. People made the most noise for Bernie, so yep. I guess uh, we could deduce from that that he is the crowd favorite, but everybody here he, is a favorite. He gets the Miss Congeniality Award. That could be it. Yeah. But I don't think he'll settle for that. He'll want, uh, I think, to go to the top. <laughs> but One for that, three. he gets an order of fries and a hamburger. <laughs> now it's a Paisley Lanes. <laughs> Good hit by Bernie. He's got nine. Come back, I think. No. Boy, I tell you what. Great spare chance, though. So piece of wood coming in behind. Well, oh, that, look, that looks all right. I think that I think he's, he's hit, he has a piece of wood right in here, but it's touching on the pin. Shouldn't be a problem. It's not. All right. Bernie Conrad, Conrad rather, gets the spare in the 10th. He's at 113 right now. So if he strikes on it, he'll be one pin out of first place. He says, I'd like to load this one up. If he does, you'll hear a roar. Lays it down. Good hit. Gets nine. Bernie Conrad, nice finish. Still finished with a 122, just two pins behind. Graham Lastman, listen to the crowd. They appreciate that kind of play. Now, Doug Blackler. Right now, Dougie is 14 points, or at least pins out of first place, but he is on a spare. He got that spare on the strike he had in the seventh. This guy making a run at the leader right now. And on the spare, he gets seven, so he's only seven pins off the lead right now. And he's got a spare chance, but the question is, can he get something right here on this pin? There's the shot. Got yes, him sir, all. you got him. That ball came off to Deadwood, played it just leather perfect. Deadwood took the two on the left-hand side, the ball took the one on the right. He gets seven on this mark right here. We've got a tie match for first place. And we'll have another bowler in Bernie Conrad, just one pin off the pace. Doesn't it get any closer than this one. Oh, look at this. Oh, wow. He gets nine on it. So we, we have, have a new have leader. A new leader, no question. Doug Blackler jumps into the lead. This is really something. There's one more pin to pick up here. Gets it. Right on, He's got Doug Blackler. Bonus ball. As he resets, marks a plenty now for yes, Doug sir. Blackler. He came right out of nowhere. Not that he was that far off, but he was flirting with third and fourth, but just several pins off the pace, but spare in the, uh, strike in the seventh, spare in the eighth, spare in the ninth, now spare in the tenth, finishing with a rush. And punches through there. Got only four on it, but uh, another total to serve him well when we go to the second string. It's still too close to call, but our new leader is Doug Blackler, and we'll come back with the second string in just a moment. Still a good time today, and so have we, and I'm sure you are at home too, because we've got a fine match going here. This is the Mark 10 Candlepin Championship Final. The winner today will take a trip for two to Munich or Frankfurt, West Germany, plus a thousand dollars spending money from a strike. Graham these Lassen. Guys, these guys just don't quit. Graham Lassen gets the strike here. This guy finished in a big hurry with three spares in the last four frames. Opens here with the strike, and it's real head-to-head -head competition right now between Graham Lassen and Doug Blackler. Bernie. Conrad just eight pins off the pace. And Ron Nelson, don't count him out. 24 pins out, but he can string him out also. Oh, Mark, double strike for Graham Lassen. Hey, is he into this match? Whoa. There's that strike, double oh, strike. Boy, I tell you what. He is really declaring war. Now, Ron Nelson, quick to get up off the seat and shake the hand of Graham Lassen after that double. He gets up himself now. It's right on the front end, but he's a little too flush. <laughs> Graham Lassen, you know that last name is German, and uh, I don't think he'd mind a trip to Germany. I no, think sir. he'd quite enjoy it. 
Oh, that's tough for Ron. Canadian Airlines in partnership with Air Atlantic. Second prize, of course, a trip for two to uh, Toronto, Ontario. $500 spending money. Boston, Massachusetts, $500 is the third prize. And the fourth place finisher, our fourth runner-up today, will be uh, $250 richer. Why, Ron Nelson's got to be a little shell-shocked after the performance by Graham Lassen and Doug Blackburn. And even Bernie Parker out there. Oh, look at that for Ron Nelson. That is tough, tough play. Both times now getting up here in one and two. He got right on the front end. A little too flush. Oh. Well, I only hope we can clean out that left-hand side. Sit down and then regroup and come charging up to three and four. Come over that with a seven. And Ron Nelson. A little disappointed with that opening, I'm sure. But Bernie Conrad up right now. And Bernie right now finds himself 12 pins off the pace. And he's a guy that usually, when the going gets tough, comes up with something. And he's come up with a tough split here. He's left the three, the six, and the ten. And the four over here is the problem. Let's see him lay it right in there. Like a great flush on the pin. <laughs> oh. Again, picks up a pin does Bernie Conrad. Goes to the other side. The key here for Bernie Conrad and Ron Nelson is just to stay loose. Graham Last, Doug Blackford, got it going right now. Just remain loose. There's hey, the he's got himself a nine-pin drop and uh, thought he might get that four to go too, but... He has it's a, a good leave here for him. He can afford to miss this one if he misses on the right-hand side. Be over here a little bit. Not a lot, but it just makes the target a little bit easier. Maybe even on the other piece of wood. Yes. <laughs> Bernie Conrad fights back in the second string with the second string and gets the spare. And here's a guy that's a lot in a real battle with Graham Lassen. And Doug right now is just four pins out of first place, but of course, Graham working on a double strike. And Doug piece of wood coming across, doesn't want that to stick around. Got a good spare chance, one, three, six. Be on the run, on the one rather, right or left. That's a great performance we are seeing here today. Oh, off to the left hand side. Yep. Lost control of that one. Well, he cuts that ball from right to left and did it there and just cut across too much. It might be a shot he'll think about later on. Comes back, ooh, gets on the front, takes just one. Doug Blackwood slips six pins off the pace set by Graham Last. Boy, those double strikes can change things in a hurry. And Graham Last has got three bonus balls. One that'll count twice. Two bonus balls, really, one that'll count twice, of course. That double strike by Graham Last seems to have stunned everybody. Oh, there's a great looking shot. What a shame. He left the 10. Because that was just an excellent out by Doug Blackter. Now, yeah, that wood on the move there. He's going to have to wait a minute to see what it's going to do. It'll go back and forth going up the side of the channel, which gives it a bit of inertia for its next run. He's ready now. They've been told to bowl in the third ball if the wood really isn't going to be a factor. And that wasn't. He bowls and has to settle for the nine. So we go back to Graham Lassen. And this guy is really into this match. Could it be triple strike? Well, he's got the deuce up there right now. Back-to-back -back strikes. We saw one in competition. Not in this series, however. Looking for the triple. Here it is. No. Well up to the right-hand side. But look at the good stuff he had on the ball. He just got great action off the three. And the six. So he gets 27, 17 bonus pins in that first strike. He's working on the second one right now. Oh, he's just off the pin. But he does count nine on the second, 19 in the box. And uh, not a bad start for Graham Lassen goes 46 after the first two frames. Ooh, he's missing that in there, 45. So he's at 55 after three. 35 over par. Boy, that, uh, th those double strikes can kill you if they're against you. Let's see what he can do on the other side here. 
Well, this says it all. Graham now with a 22-pin lead on Doug Blackler. Yeah. 48-pin lead. Oh, that's a great right 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 Graham Lawson, he's just oh, burning it up today. Boy. Hey, he just disappeared. This guy is really bowling up a storm. He wants to go to Germany. There's no question about it. Ooh, Ron Nelson now. Ron Nelson trying to get something going. And the cloud of greeting. Yes, he's going to get that pin, I think. Yes, he does. And this wood coming back, <laughs> but not hard enough. Just settle up. Nose just slightly away. So stay for, save him away from the nose. Usually that's a bit of a guide to get him. He gets the six oh pin God, for his pair. Ron Nelson deserves it. He's way behind at 48 yeah. pins down from Graham. But here's a guy that can throw a double strike at you at any time. And a double sure would put him back in the picture. On the mark, got six. Get after the right-hand side a little bit. Graham Lassen, boy, I tell you, he has taken off like a scalded dog. Well, only 42 pins out of first place. That's quite a bit, but only actually 20 pins out of second place. Yep. So Ron certainly not out of it. Not at all. Not at all. Right on the pin, makes that good. That's Ron Nelson to get his 10. 41, one over. Here comes Bernie Conrad, who's open on a mark. Uh, Bernie sure is. And uh, he's a guy that, uh, well, they all have the talent to, to make things happen. A little tough, tough luck there. He'd like to have that pin go back against the standing pin, that being the dead one in turn, but it's just not going to get much on it. And he's going to have a tough time to get over on this pin over here. He might even come in here and try to put that wood in play. Here's the shot. Four, Goes five, seven, way. and ten. Take a little high in the wood. Be near the end. Takes care of the four and the seven. The five and the ten still out there for him. This wood, will it help him? Not to be. Shook the ten up a little bit, but it wouldn't go. And he's got himself 33 after three. Three over. Moves to the left-hand approach for his fourth box in the second string. Fourth frame, fourteenth frame overall. And good. it's good for a nine-pin drop. And look at that wood. Just directing him. Oh, yeah. He's got a good shot here. He's lay the ball in around the V right here. Just don't find the channel and you'll get this, you'll spare this yeah. one up. There it is. There it goes. Tony <laughs> Conrad hanging real tough marks once again. He'll sit down and give way to Doug Blackler. Real good battle going on between Blackler and Conrad now for second place. And it's Doug Blackler leading Bernie, or at least trailing Bernie by two pins. But of course, Bernie is open. Hello, oh, Strike. Doug Blackler. And Doug's not taking the second place right now. He said, I want to have a run at first. There it is, right on the front pin that time. <laughs> plenty of work off the kickback. Timber trails, lots of wood. <laughs> oh, he said, boy, now is the time for my double. And he reaches for his favorite ball once again, that black one. He's thrown the triple before. He's looking for a double right now. He said, oh, oh punches. Boy. You gotta feel sorry for him. He's still on the strike, remember. Look for him to go to the left-hand side. There's four pins over there. No, he didn't. Oh, Heart wrencher is... only picks up four on the bonus. That is really, bonus. really tough. Of course, if you're Bernie Conrad, that's great. Well, Doug Blackler comes out of that with a six, and boy, you know, they could, uh, things can turn against you so very quickly, and that's exactly what happened with Doug Blackler. He gets up in the third frame, and he's got that strike, and he's thinking that uh, Graham Lassen just had a double, missed one, but then got another strike, so he's rolling along real good, but Doug Blackler says, hey, now's my chance. If I can only strike here, put a double together, I can have a real run at this guy. And what does he do? He gets up and punches out, then the next ball takes one, and he only counts four on the strike and six in the frame, and that's just how this game rather can turn against you or can turn in your favor if you get a few breaks here and there. Well, the scoreboard tells quite a story, and uh, the story is that Graham Lassen is doing what he did in the semifinal. He's taking off like a bullet. Uh, certainly he was strong in that first string in the semifinal number uh, one. Now in the championship game, pretty good f uh, first string, 124, and now the second string he's just taken off. Three strikes, a nine in between, and the separations, well, Graham in first place, 22 pins behind is Doug Blackler, 24 pins behind is Bernie Conrad, and behind uh, Bernie is 42 pins back out of first place. Here's Graham Lassen's score, 
And a little bit of activity in the crowd there. I don't know what's going on. We're looking at the scores here. Three strikes there for Graham Lassen. I was mentioning Ron Nelson, 42 pins back. I think they're working on the wave over there. They're perfecting it. I don't know if we can get a camera shot of that, folks in the truck, but they're working on the wave here at Basely Lanes. There it is. We've got the wave. First time of... Wait, they're going to try it again? Oh. Well, you're looking at a history-making performance right now by about, oh, I don't know, 50, 60, 80, I mean, fans of bowling. And there's a lot of people in this building you're not seeing in that shot. But let's go back to the <laughs> scoreboard and look at Bernie. There's Bernie Conrad's score you see below us. Uh, and he's open on the mark when we come back. It's important for him. Bernie being 24 out of first place and only two pins out of second place. Dougie Blackler is up now, and he's at uh, 37, not open on a mark. He had that strike in the third. Uh... He'd like to pick it up a little bit, oh, yeah. and I think he's on course yeah. to doing that. And, of course, uh, this is the championship game, folks. I mean, after today, it's over. Well, Our first place winner goes to Germany, and Graham Lassen is well on uh, his way, I think, to uh, maybe achieving that trip to the homeland. We've, we've said it uh, before in this series, the old saying, it's not over till the fat lady sings. Well, I tell you what, she is now moving toward the microphone because <laughs> Graham Lassen has just been so very tough four, at least three strikes in the opening, four frames, and this guy, when he gets on that kind of a roll, boy, I tell you, he is going to be very, very tough to catch. Okay, let's take a break, and we'll be back with frames uh, six, seven, eight, and five, right after these messages. <laughs> Invitational Candle Pin Championship will be history. And you're looking at the man who stands a very good chance of taking first place. And boy, that name is appropriate, Mark 10, because we've seen marks today. More than 10. Oh, Graham Lassen. I tell you, almost got some action off the side. He is still on the strike, remember? He has four so far and says, sink this deep, maybe get them all. He wants to throw the strike ball, and it's been working for him. Oh. Solid five. A solid five pin. He hit on the pin right out in front, and the ball just scooted straight by. Picks up nine on the strike, though, yeah. and there's a single pin for a pin box. 84, 40, 54 over. 34 over after five. Do that. Do that. Yeah. <laughs> now the sixth frame for Graham Lassen. Well, Graham Lassen. Yeah, it's got a... Oh, boy, he's got another one. Four strikes in six frames for Graham Lassen. And this guy, you know, you look at the frames three and five where he didn't mark, he could have. This guy could be taking aim at a 200 gain the way he's bowling. Well, well, well. Got to be disheartening for this man. Ron Nelson, he's trailing third place right now by 18. Bins, but he's got one. Oh, what a great round of applause for Ron Nelson. They seem to come in bunches. He says, I mightn't catch Graham Lassen, but boy, I'm going to have a run at second or third. And look at this. They all went in a hurry. We said earlier, this guy is very capable of throwing a double at you. And uh, may be preparing to do that right now. Ron Nelson. I get right back in it. Oh, we got off to the right side just a little bit. Late action. Look out. <laughs> hey, that's not a bad setup to spare, though. Just has to lay the ball in on the side of the pin, have it kick over there. There's lots of wood over here. Take care of that. Oh, but he had to be on the front pin. He had to get a piece of that front pin. And Ron Nelson does pick up nine on the strike, though. Just 11 pins out of second place. Oh. And settles for nine in the box. Bernie Conrad up now. Bernie is currently holding on to a two-pin lead over Doug Blackler as they fight for second spot. And Bernie open here, picks up six on the spare. i do something with this. Look out! Look out! He's got it. Missed it the first time. Well, well, well. He missed it the first time. Watch the wood wrap around that seven the first time around. Watch it. There it goes. The one... In front, behind, it looks like he's missed it, but another piece of wood is coming across to get the job done. No way that pin was going to stay. <laughs> nice piece of work. Yeah. Right. Oh! Cut that ball in from right to left, and it just moved in front and across in front of the one in front. Picks up six bonus pins, though. This doesn't look too bad. One, three, six, and in behind is the piece eight. Oh. 
<laughs> and I want to tell you, the crowd are now on the edge of the seats with every shot because these guys are looking down there and no pin is safe. Bernie, except for that eight pin. Well, that was a little tough. <laughs> that eight pin was safe that time. <laughs> 74, 14 over Bernie Conrad in the second string. Well, right now, we've got Doug Blackler stepping up, and he is nine pins out of second place. And we're dealing with second right now, because Graham Lassen has got a stranglehold on the top spot. Graham, or at least Doug, misses on the left-hand side. Boy. Good shot by Doug Blacker. That was not an easy shot. He had to be less, letter perfect. We're going to go back to it one more time. There you see it. Well, I don't need to tell you how tough that shot is, but look at that. Laid it perfect. And finally gets that single pin on the right-hand side. Doug Blackler, not to be denied. This is just an absolutely astounding final series. Had a feeling it was going to come down to this. Yep. And Ron Nelson had a 1-6. He's 9 over par right now after 6. And he's trailing. Doug turned away from that one. He knew he was too flush in the front end. And he's got a couple of pins with the 3-6 and the 10 on the right-hand side. That's the 4. Oh. Well, he has some wood to work with there as he tries to pick up 10 here. Now again, it's moving back over the way. He's going to wait a little minute here and just see where this one ends up. If it keeps going, he'll get coverage in the 10, but it stops. Now he's ready and comes out of that with a 9. Does Doug Blackler. So Doug is four pins out of second place behind the pace being set by Bernie Conrad. As we go back to Graham Lassen, look at his count, 218. That's for 16 frames. And he's open right now on a strike. And he's had four in the... First six strikes. <laughs> He's on that. Every time he throws the ball, everybody's thinking strike now. He was a little too fine there. Remember, he's still on that strike. But I want to tell you something. It's going to be very tough to convert this one. There's a bang. Oh, boy, I'll tell you what. He had a piece of wood that came off there and flew over here, and it didn't miss that 10 by much. 103 for six. 43 pins over par in this one. That's up. Uh, it's only one pin. <laughs> uh, great performance. We've seen him before from Graham Lassen. 152 and 155 for a 307 total the last time he was on. He's all business on that approach. Yeah. Oh. Amazing oh. the oh. doing this in front of the cameras, the crowd, the lights. And he's doing it in the Mark 10 final. This is a good spare chance also for him here. He's got the six, the nine, and the ten to the right of the center pin or the left. There it is. Oh, oh not to be in a mark this no. time. And it looks like he may have to settle for a nine box. Well, an outside chance he may try to put this wood in play, but I don't think so. Oh, goes through the middle again. Graham Lassen, an eight. And the eighth, the nine, and the seventh, he's still sitting at 120. 40 over. Unbelievable. Ron Nelson up now. Ron Nelson, he's going to take a run by second place. He's 21 pins off the pace. Got he, a good break there. He did. But he's got a couple of tough pins in behind. That's the seven and the eight. Now, the only thing is, he has a piece of wood facing on. If he drove, well, it's changed just as we speak. Let's see if we can pick now. Oh, he's yeah. got him! What a great shot by Ron Nelson! Oh, just a great shot. There's just no quit in any of these bowlers. Watch the pin on the right-hand side. It'll go off to the left, off the kickback, take the seven, touch the eight, and that's just a beautiful-looking spare for Ron Nelson. So don't count this guy out, at least for second. He's down by 21. He's got the bonus ball here. Cuts it in again. A little too far to the right-hand side, picks up the bonus here, does get seven. So all of a sudden, he's only 14 pins out of second spot. He'll throw the strike ball on the front pin, and he'll have himself a spare. Oh, but no, just... gets the two instead. It seems what Ron gets a chance to make a move. He just doesn't seem to be able to capitalize on the opportunity. And not to take anything away from him, because he has really bowled well. But if he had converted a couple, he would have been right in there. Ron now 15 behind Bernie Conrad for second place on a trip to Toronto. Bernie up right now. 
difference of two hundred and fifty dollars between third and fourth plus the trip so there's a lot of at stake between fourth and third certainly and bernie's got a good shot here nice coverage on the pin in behind the shot a little too flush in the front end bernie hanging on to a four pin lead over doug blackler he gets one of those two would take the nine so now the lead is up to three pins and doug blackler is up next you see him there rubbing the hands waiting for his chance oh strike on and gets the strike and again it's <laughs> Doug right in that one three pocket and they went like a five ton truck hit him <laughs> right. am i right about that or am i right about that right or wrong we're calling him <laughs> as we see him right or, right or. <laughs> all right Doug Blackler goes to work now. Two flush. But I tell you what, he got a break on the left-hand side with that wood in there. But he has got to get something over here onto that pin. See what he can do. Here's the shot. Oh, he's got, he's that got ten something pin. over there, all right. Tumbling pin, dancing across the plate, but forgot to take the seven. What? Bang, he's on that seven, though, so... Doug Blackler remains three pins behind Bernie Conrad out of second place. Graham Lassen looking very, very strong on top right now. He has but two frames to go. Blackler. Good That's hit. Strike ball. Oh. He's all around it. The wood skittered be. all in behind that five. Well, I tell you, this is a chance for Doug Blackler. It's his to take or leave. Okay. Good hit by Doug Blackler. Gets a big, big mark, so really, there's not anything to choose at all between Doug Blackler and Bernie Conrad. In fact, you've got to, uh, you'd have to say that uh, right now, Blackler with the mark, uh, chances are he'll pick up better than three, so he uh, kind of has the hammer right now coming home. But uh, what an excellent uh, series this has been. Uh, when uh, the whole thing was put together, we looked at the 32 bowlers and said, you know, these are just 32 of the finest bowlers in eastern Canada. And uh, sometimes when you put together a collection of bowlers like that and bring them on TV, uh, it doesn't always work out the way you'd like. Uh, maybe the pins don't fall, they're not quite as loose and so on. Uh, the guys don't get the breaks and they walk away and people are saying, well, they're not so good, maybe I can bowl as they do. <laughs> but this series has been an exception because these guys, right from start to finish, have bowled very, very well week after week. We had uh, Claude Bertrand. Remember the 266 he had? Everybody said, hey, 266, that's just fantastic. An average of 133 over those two. And people said, that one won't be beaten this series. Mm -hmm. And Graham Lass and the guy you're watching perform so well here today came along and blew him away at 307. And he's uh, continuing that pace today. Well, we were talking about it during the break and uh, 15 shows, of course, in the series. And uh, at least a dozen of them have been real nail biters yeah. coming down to a battle for second place in most instances. And uh, three of them won by just one pin. That was the uh, difference between the person who moved on to the next round and the person we said goodbye to. Yeah. So it's been real tight. You can't get it any more exciting than this. And in this uh, final show, we're seeing a repeat of uh, the semifinal in which Graham Lassen just went to the front of the class and didn't look back. And you talking about Graham Lassen, he started this one. Everybody was talking about Graham Lassen. He comes in after that sparkling 307 for a couple of strings. And people are saying, boy, can this guy get beat? You know, he is just bowling so well these days. But he comes up and he has a nine box. Then he has a ten. Then he has two more nines. And people are saying, hey, the guy is human. And uh, maybe he can be beat. But then he started to strike the moat. Mark, spare strikes. Boy, they came with great consistency. And it is Graham Lassen who is setting the pace. Let's take a look at his scoring to date. Remember, there are two frames to go, and there you see them. The it's scores of Graham Lassen. 244 total for Graham Lassen. Excellent. Excellent Next ball. behind Graham, Ron Nelson at, uh, let's see, there it is, 95 and a 106 for uh, two. And we have Bernie Conrad. Poof, they're coming faster than we can read them <laughs> off here. And then, of course, Dougie Blackler. The story for second place is uh, Bernie Conrad, and uh, it's going to be a battle there for that second spot. We're going to come back with the final two frames right after these messages. Wipe his hands on the ball and take to the approach. He's in first place, but that trip to Germany is not his yet. No, it's not, uh, because you've got to consider Bernie Conrad, who is 29 pins behind Graham Lassen, 
but Bernie is open on a strike. Now this is, uh, we don't want to over-dramatize the situation. Bernie is 29 pins out, but he is open on a strike. But uh, I tell you what, there is an important pin down there for Graham Lassen. This would be a big, big spare. This might be the one that would slam the door. He lays it down. He's dead on the pin. That one may have just faltered Graham Lassen all the way from Nova Scotia to either Munich or Frankfurt, Germany. Because that was a big, big mark there. Now, let's see what he can pick up on it. It'll be 29 plus whatever he gets here that Bernie Conrad will have to make up. He'll have to make up a bunch. Oh, a good eight count. 37 pins now for Bernie, and boy, that's pretty tough. And another chance for Graham Lassen here to mark one more time. You've got to consider here, as if he gets over here, I don't know if he'll get this pin right here. Look at it from another angle, and he will. Yeah, this should be an easy spare should, for yeah, that, Graham, and I he'll probably throw a bonus ball to call it a day. And it gets another spare. 148 and open to close out here for Graham Lassen. Boy, this guy has just been absolutely sensational. <laughs> I tell you what, if he throws a strike here, this place is going to go absolutely crazy. Popular guy. Takes the big heave. Now he's set. Lays it down. Wow, well, what the heck. He's going to pick up seven bonus pins. <laughs> Graham Lassen, a great round of applause. The bowler's up to shake his hand, but he gets a great round of applause. One fifty-five. Wow, we. Well, that ties is one fifty-five. We saw the last round. Now, Ron Nelson gets a good hit. And he gets everything but the ten. And this guy now is going to make a run at second place. Ron Nelson is just fourteen pins out of second. Oh, he gets right on the pin to Ron Nelson. Begins to make his charge, so it's 14 pins less what he gets here. Graham Lassen, you know, holds the record for the high double here in the Mark 10 series, a 307. He also holds the second highest, 279 today. Isn't that something? Now, just seven pins off the pace, and look at this. Another good chance to spare for Ron Nelson. A spare he must have. He wants to move up. Here's the shot. He's got it! What clutch shooting from Ron Nelson! If he gets seven here, he ties for second. But, of course, Bernie Conrad, Duck Blackler, yet to come. Well, they can win it or lose it at that point. But uh, all of a sudden, coming from fourth, a chance to tie for second or go into second alone. Oh, a punch through the middle. Oh, that is real, real tough for Ron Nelson. Gets a nice round of applause. But he trails now by three pins. So Doug Blackler and... Bernie Conrad will have to follow by Bernie, of course, open here on the strike. It's a two-way tie for third place, in other words, right now. And on the battle right now, I think you'd have to say, is between Bernie Conrad, Doug Lacker, for top spot. Bernie throws a second ball here on the strike. He counts seven, so he's going to go ten pins up on Doug Blackler right now. But he may drop a couple here. Let's see what happens. He gets yes, one of the he two. Does. He does, so now it's eight. And of course... We're giving you these counts uh, on the assumption that Blackler gets tens in frames nine and ten. We'll have to make some kind of an assumption, I guess. Well, we'd have no way to gauge it otherwise. Absolutely. There's Bernie. Oh, boy. Well, I'll tell you what. This is a very, very difficult shot. Now he's got a piece of wood yeah. way up in front there. Bernie. It's the five, six, ten, and seven. Just hanging on here. Gets those two. Now the question is, does he play this for 10 and try to play it in here and toss this pin over? I think he's going to go there. And he does. Make sure. Gets his nine. Bernie Conrad will sit down with a 17 lead over Doug Blackler. Doug now up the bowl in 9 and 10. So, Doug needs 28 pins here to capture second place. It's that simple. Well, simple to say. Maybe not simple to do. Oh, just a nightmare, unless the wood comes back to help him. And he's on the mark. We'd forgotten about that. So there's only one pin the difference. <laughs> Ooh, 
in the excitement. He missed that one, so just one pin. Uh, Doug Black go to second place. Oh, what a great try. And what a just a great try. Single pin down there. And he'll go to the final time. He gets that. It's a big one. So to win. Now we're getting the official tally on this right now. They tell us he needs a mark with two on it to win. And it's going to be real tough. Needs five pins to be running. And hey, he needs one of those pins. Don't throw it down the hole. And he does not. Doug Blackler will throw now the final ball. It was has been an excellent series, in particular, an excellent final in this, the Mark 10 Men's Candle Pin Championship. Leaving one pin, a good round of applause for Doug Blackler. And he'll take that applause all the way to the seat. But a great, great final. All four bowlers, you can hear it, getting a great round of applause. And now they're turning it on. They're standing, and rightfully so. And boy, I tell you, these guys came to bowl here today. Graham Lassen, Ron Nelson, Bernie Conrad, Doug Blackler. And they four have got to be very, very pleased. There's Bernie. <laughs> oh, yeah. Nice sight to see, Paul Menye. Graham Lassen going to Germany. His choice of Frankfurt or Munich. Going to Toronto, Ontario with $500 in his pocket will be Bernie Conrad. Doug Blackler will take a trip to Boston, Massachusetts with $500. Canadian Airlines in partnership with Air Atlantic. And Ron Nelson picks up 250 smackers. We're going to come back and talk to our winners right after this. The championship is now history, and history will show that Graham Lassen walked away with a final of 279 total. In second place, Bernie Conrad, followed by Doug Blackler and Ron Nelson. Only seven pens separating second place and fourth place, showing the true grit of our bowlers. We had four very good ones here today. Let me introduce you now to Len Thompson, the uh, district sales manager for Air Atlantic. And Len, you've got a presentation to make to our champion. Certainly do, Paul. Graham, and congratulations on behalf of Canadian Airlines and Air Atlantic on a great win and a trip for two to Frankfurt, Germany, or Munich. All right. Thank you very much. Your choice. Where do you think you'll go? Uh, I haven't decided. Okay. Well, we'll give you time to think about it as we say hello to Bernie Conrad who finished in second place. And Bernie, you're going to Toronto. Congratulations to you, sir. Thank you. And Len, to make the presentation, yep. trip to Toronto, yeah, Ontario. Doug Blackler, third place, Boston, Massachusetts. You like Boston? Doug. Love it. You're on your way. Red Sox. Have a good trip. Let me introduce Clayton Merrick now from Rothmans, Benson & Hedges, who is going to make some cash presentations. First of all, we're going to talk to uh, Ron Nelson, who uh, picks up uh, $250, finishing in fourth place. Congratulations to you. Thank you very much. Congratulations, Ron. And a uh, nice job, Ron, uh, finishing in fourth place. Let's go back to the top of the order, the same way we started today with Graham Lassen and $1,000 cash. Congratulations, Graham. Thank you very much. And Bernie Conrad, $500 spending money on that trip Bernie, to Toronto. congratulations. Thank you. And last but not least, Doug Blackler. Congratulations, Thank you very much. Doug. Another check for $500. It's been really a terrific, terrific series. Bruce and I commented on it uh, many times that uh, this has been one of the best we've had. Fifteen episodes, at least three of them came down to a one-pin showdown for second spot and the opportunity to move on to the next round. And in one instance, we had a two-frame roll-off. So it's been excitement all the way. It's been a wonderful series. We're really glad that you could be here with us. We have one more presentation to make, and that is the Mark 10 Championship Cup. And to do it again, here's Clayton Mark. Graham, on behalf of Rothman Spencer Hedges, manufacturers of Mark 10 cigarette products, congratulations. Thank you very much. There it is, that name, Graham Lassen. We'll go on that cup. And a big hand here from all the people at Basil Lanes. Len Morrow, our first champion, Graham Lassen. How does it feel? Oh, it's very good. I'd like to thank the sponsors, uh, Air Atlantic and Mark 10 and Basil Lanes and ATV for putting on the, the whole show. Okay. It's great. It's a great feeling. Terrific. Wonderful performances from Graham Lassen. Thanks very much. When next we meet, it'll be a mixed championship. Hope to see you then for Bruce Steven and our producer, Jim Hill. Bye-bye, everybody. This has been an ATV present. No life form readings, Captain. Continuing scan. Well, somebody sent a distress call.
No sign of the spaceship, no sign of debris. 